guys, my name is Lena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create your custom watercolor brushes in Adobe Illustrator. And they will be 100% vector and you can easily change the size and the color of your brushes. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Well, guys, what do you need to prepare to create your own watercolor brushes? You need to have just a simple palette. It's the palette of my son. It uh, was cost one euro. And you need the simple brush. As well, you need to prepare a piece of white paper without any lines. It must be just white paper and that's all guys you need just a paper and just a simple palette which you can buy in any shop so now let's start to create a watercolor brushes in adobe illustrator well guys hope you already prepared your watercolor palette and of course a white piece of paper and the water with a simple brush and now let's start you can create brushes uh, in one color or you can create brushes uh, with different colors of your palette it's no matter you can easily change the colors in adobe illustrator you need to paint brushes with different thicknesses with different densities of different sizes of different shapes so that later in the program you can choose the brushes you like the most that you will use in the future and so guys you need to create as many variations of your brushes as you can when you are done creating your brushes you need to let them dry I created these brushes yesterday and now I want to show you how to create watercolor splashes. To create the splashes you need to wet the watercolor paint very very much and then beat on the brush to create splashes. Try to keep them of different sizes and different shapes so that later in Adobe Illustrator they will be look more realistic. And of course you can create various abstract shapes that you may need for your design. And now you need to take a picture of your brushes. Try to do this under good light and also do not shoot the whole paper but in parts to make photos more clear for a program and now send the pictures on the computer the easiest way for you okay guys now we are in adobe illustrator let's open the photo with the brushes file place Let's select, for example, this one, place, hold and drag. Okay. Now go to window, image trace, and you need to select here high fidelity photo. And now you need to wait some seconds and Voila! The magic is happened! <laughs> okay, now you need to go to Object, Expand, OK. And now you need to delete the background. You need to go to Magic Wand Tool, double click. And here write 10 and just select the white background and delete and now here select these parts and delete okay now you have the brushes they are 
100% vector, but it's just a picture, not a brush. You need to create brush. Twice ungroup these pictures. And now let's select, for example, um, this one. Go to brushes panel, press plus, art brush, OK. And here you need select tints and shades. And the other options will be the same. OK. And OK. OK, the brush is ready. Let's take the brush tool and draw something like this. You don't see the brush because it's white color. Let's change the stroke, for example, on green and let's draw now blue, now brown. And you see your watercolor brush now already is real brush and it's 100% vector and you can easily change the size and the color. Now let's draw something. Take a light green color and brush tool, draw the line here. And now let's select the line. And change here stroke weight on 0 0.2 and select this shape. Now change here uh, the stroke weight on 1 and select brush tool and draw here the shapes like this. It will be like uh, the leaves. Okay. I like it. Uh, now let's uh, pick this brush and create one more brush. You need to go again to brush panel plus art brush. OK. And the same. Change only uh, method. Tints and shapes. OK. And now let's open one of my favorite swatches libraries. Swatches, open library and select Visibone 2. And let's take this light pink color and our brush, brush tool. And if you draw just like this, you see it's just the straight line. It's not pretty, delete it. You need to change here the shape on this and now let's draw and now you see it's pretty cute flower. Okay, you can easily move the line and if you need to make, for example, the line longer, take direct selection tool, select this point and hold and drag it. in any place you like. Okay, now let's draw here one more flower with the same uh, color and the, the same brush like this. Okay. Now you need to, to change opacity and take multiply egg and brush tool and the same color and the same brush and now you see your color is became more darker and more transparent but it's too dark you need to select all these shapes and right here for example 50 and now it's more watercolor. And as well, you, for example, can uh, select the whole design and make here transparency 
uh, for example, 70 percent. And now it's pretty. You can move and change the sizes and the colors of your design as you like. Now let's create the brushes with the splashes. You need to select the photo, go to image trace and select the high fidelity photo. Okay. Now you need to go to uh, object. Expand. OK. Now, as well, you need to delete the background. And uh, let's delete the other shapes. I want to stay only splashes. Ungroup, ungroup twice and delete unwanted shapes, only splashes. And you can create your own splash. For example, you can select uh, the splashes you like the most and create like this uh, your own splash. OK. Or you can select the parts you like here and move them here and, for example, delete unliked uh, parts like this. And let's select this part and it will be the future brush and, for example, this one. OK. We have for future brushes, let's select this one, go to brushes plus and select scatter brush, OK. And as well, you need to change only method to tints and shades. And OK. Great, the first brush is ready. Let me create the other brushes. OK. The brushes are ready. Let's delete these shapes. They don't need us anymore. And let's add here some splashes. Let's select the color like on the leaves and brush tool and the first splash. And you need to add the splashes in the places you like. If you don't like something, you always can move or delete. And if you are um, sure that you, uh, you want to stay this splash here, you can go to Object Expand Appearance and move the splash. And when you will finish the design, you need to uh, go to object and expand appearance for the whole design okay let's move a little you can change transparency you can change opacity till you'd like the result okay you can move the splashes if you don't like uh, something on your splash you can always take a right uh, select the splash go to object expand appearance and now select a riser tool and let's delete the parts you don't like it's pretty easy so guys i created my custom watercolor brushes in adobe illustrator and let's save them here you see my watercolor brushes and if I want to use them in other projects, I need to save them. Now let's go to icon with three lines. Now save brush library. And you can save your library in any folder that you like the most. For example, I save it here. And you can name it as you like. I name it 
uh, my watercolor brushes and save. And that's all guys, you can use your brushes in every your project. And now guys, I have a small task for you. You need to create your own brushes and create, for example, this simple flower. Or if you like, you can create something more harder like this. Or if you feel a power inside you and you have much more time, you can create the rose like this. And if you want to take a closer look at the pictures, you can go to my Telegram or Instagram pages. And if you want to download an original AI file with these flowers and with my brushes and with the photos of my brushes, you can go to my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design. Bye bye guys. Bye.